Hello YouTube. Not done a video in a long time. So just wanted to give you guys an update on how everything is going and what's the um, good, bad and ugly about having animals on your property. Um, it's been pouring here in Dallas area, Dallas, Texas area for, I don't know, last month on and off mostly every single day we have been getting a lot of rain like a lot and whether it's cold or it's hot or it's raining and it's muddy mess we still have to go feed them we still have to take care of them as you can see it's pouring down my horses are heading hay that's their stall the red one but it is such a muddy mess so I actually prefer to give them hay outside in the open because that area at least has some grass and no puddles so it's it's crazy right now can't wait for nice dry weather um, but that's the that's that's what it means when you have animals you have responsibilities and whether it's cold 30 degree weather or 19 degrees or whatever degree Fahrenheit weather you have to still go there and take care of them so having proper gear is very important um, and that makes life easy and also if you have a nice barn nice facility which I don't have um, that makes a huge difference uh, in taking care of the animals. It makes it so much easier, you know. Um, my hay is in my car port, like a shed type of area where I'm supposed to park my cars. Um, so it's out of rain and then my feed is on my patio. So that's just how I have it. Eventually I'll have a barn. Um, and those properties or uh, buildings on your properties are kind of expensive. They can start somewhere from 30000 and onwards on how fancy your facility is. My goats are right here. Again, they are eating hay out in the open in the, in the rain because the hay that I gave them in their, their shed area, um, they messed it up. and they made a huge mess so give them new clean hay and they're hungry so they will stand in the rain and eat it um, not for too long though as soon as they are full they'll go back inside in their area I, I can't show you it's more on the left hand side Ooh, let's see if I can show you Yep, that's the, that white shed thing is there. Areas where, oops, where the goats are. And then right now I am not free ranging my chickens. They are still in the coop. I lost a lot of chickens um, lately because when weather is bad, um, you know, I am not outside as much and that also um, motivates all the critters um, like fox, coyote, and bobcats to come and hunt them during the day. Um, so, you know, when the day is nice, I'm out always, all the time, I'm out there and um, and it's, it's easier to take care of them and the critters know that there's human presence and they stay away um, but when there's no you know when humans are not outside that much the predators they're very smart they know that it's a good time to go hunt and especially this weather makes them more hungry because they have to survive in this rain and cold weather outside and um, and it's hard for them they need more energy and maybe they have babies or who knows so they are very aggressive 
hunting during this time of the year. So I have um, temporarily stopped free-ranging my chickens. And I'm gonna free-range them again um, as soon as the weather gets better. As soon as I'm outside, they'll be outside. Um, but right now, their food and, and uh, water is inside their coop and they are safe. So, my garden is not doing great. It's a mess. And that's the plan for Thanksgiving week when I'm off work. Um, I'm gonna redo, reorganize that whole area. I don't know, I may even pull out this whole area and build a new area somewhere else. Um, it's always trial and error. Um, and there's a garden area that's over there. I'm not sure if you can see it. That is doing great. So I don't know if you guys know, I had <clears throat> tons and tons of cucumbers planted there and I was getting like a five gallon bucket every two days full of cucumbers. Um, not kidding you, like hundreds of cucumbers I was getting over there. And maybe I had about uh, eight plants or six plants, something like that. I, I can't even tell how many plants I had. Maybe nine plants um, because I put three seeds in every mound and I had three months. So yeah, nine plants, and I don't know if all survived or not, but that they had taken over the entire place and they were producing so many cucumbers. I could not eat that many cucumbers. Anyways, one day I was feeding goats and I left the gate open because I was in a rush or whatever. I can't even remember why I made that mistake. Next morning I come in and there's nothing, just plain dirt. Nothing, like nothing existed. It was just a dream that I had grown a garden full of cucumbers. Um, they even ate my um, lemongrass, those tall bushes over here. Uh, hold on, let me try not to shake that much. Okay, let's see if I can point. Right there and there, there's two bushes. And those bushes are lemongrass and I use them in my teeth and it's just really really fragrant um, green grass that I grow uh, it attracts bees um, it's good for you know good for tea making teas and things like that so that's what I use it for at least um, and yeah, they even ate that. I didn't know that goats can eat lemongrass, but obviously they did and nothing happened to them. So they brought that lemongrass bush down to the ground and it, it has regrown since then and it's looking fabulous. So I'm so glad that it survived. And uh, yeah, so. Yep, that's all the updates I have. Um, thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Um, you know, I have all these animals as a hobby and I'm trying to get agriculture exemption. So I am I keep goats for that purpose and also, um, you know, whenever I can get some fresh milk, I love that. Um, and obviously I love having chickens. I think that's something I'll always have even though I've had so many failures um, because I've lost chickens because of heat I've lost chicken because of um, so many creatures um, and sometimes uh, you know some situations like I could have had an automatic do door opener chicken coop opener a long time ago that could have saved so many chickens so because um, they were getting hunted at night um, and I always free range I never coop them up except this time of the year where you know there's just um, so many chicken being lost and I just feel safe for them to be outside when usually I'm active 
outside so the predators stay away but I love free ranging they eat so many bugs we had a um, uh, in you know infestation of army worms and they ate so many army worms it's not even funny so you know I could keep the army worms numbers down because of my chickens and that was awesome all right guys thank you and have an awesome day thanks bye bye